on the ship above the planet hovering several miles above the research facility, Jane Haley, technician, first to her temples, there was something wrong with her head. It had come suddenly a numbing wave of pain that had swept over her and made her almost fall over out of her chair and then almost as suddenly as it had come it was gone when she opened her eyes ensign eric arthur was staring at her to to attention to anything wrong he asked she shook her head bad headache she said get those a lot asked arthur as if hoping to start a conversation she ignored him she looked around and saw that some of the others on the bridge looked dazed as well. Though nobody as much as she, maybe it wasn't just a headache, but something else. But what, Arthur? The O seemed unaffected as did Commander Grot or the later latter was staring at her at a look of deep curiosity in her his eyes have you felt that before he asked headaches she said sure wasn't hasn't any everybody he looked at her a moment more than nodded the serious curiosity fading take a few minutes away from the bridge Garther yourself he said gather yourself he said but I'm fine, sir, she said. That's in order, he said. She nodded and stood left the bridge. And order, she thought. Since when did you have to leave the bridge if you had a headache? But it was good to get away for a moment, catch her breath, gather herself inside. Arthur made her nervous. He was nice or tried to be, but there was something strange about her and... He was always preaching eutology. He seemed just one step away from either asking her out on a date or inviting her along to a religious rival, maybe both, and Groter. She had no test treaty, treated her a little differently than some of the others. Not enough to notice unless you paid close attention it was hard to pin her finger on what it was exactly but she was sure he did it but she had no idea why she made her way to her quarters lying down on the bed for a while the headache if that was what it had been was now completely gone strange that but it hadn't been a headache exactly or not the headaches like she usually knew them there hadn't been little flashes of, of something matches jug jagging like lightning into her head but broken and incomplete impossible for her to make into coherent shapes it had been like watching a broken vid screen, one in the process of fuzzing out. She felt that there was something there to be seen, but she just couldn't see it. She lay on the bed, staring up at the ceiling. It was no secret to her that there were tensions between the commander and Ensign Arthur, and though Grotor did little to give himself away. She noticed that there were things that he'd say around her that he wouldn't say around Arthur. It was she supposed to stay a mark of privilege that he'd say them to her. She tried to take it that way, but she was also had to admit that when she'd signed up for the academy, she hadn't imagined it would be like this. She didn't know what was going on down on the planet proper exactly, but she knew enough to know 
that she wouldn't approve if she knew more, which made her wonder why Grocher had chosen her as part of his group. What did he expect from her? She wondered for the 50th time why was she here. After she deemed sufficient time had elapsed, she washed her face and made her way back to the bridge. Arthur was still there and he immediately tried to engage her. She mumbled and apologized and slipped back into her work at her council. But the work itself wasn't holding her attention. There was little to do. They were hovering above Aspera, not orbiting the planet exactly, but doing a strange loop that unnecessarily expanded fuel, it seemed to her, and which kept them in a proximity to the structure below that she'd been the first to identify. Why they were doing it, she couldn't say. Groter had hinted about what was taking place on the planet, and she'd seen the, the supply ships come and pass through scene as well. Another structure being built below over the course of a number of months. It was a research facility of some kind, but what of what? and for what exactly she couldn't say. Someone had stopped to hover behind her. For a moment she thought it was Arthur. She prepared herself to become irritated, snap something at him that might drive him back. But Arthur, she saw, out of the corner of her eye was still at his station. When she craned her neck, she saw it was Commander Groter. Do you mind explaining where that came from? He asked what she asked, and then he flicked his finger at her vid pad. With her styles, she saw she'd been tracing something It looked like a pair of tusks of some kind, but instead of carving, they twisted her around one another funny she thought it looks like the unitology symbol after all of Orther's talk about unitology must have sunk deeper into her skin than she realized but it was different from the unitology symbol to or at least more articulated it was covered with dozens of small squiggly dis but bizarre symbols I don't know she said what have you seen he asked what have you been up to I haven't seen anything she claimed this doesn't mean anything to you he asked then why did you draw it she shook her head nothing sir she said I swear I was just doodling and what are these symbols he asked gesturing to the right edge of the pad these equ Asians, were they equations? Well, yes, they looked like them. Probably just the remnant of some old navigation positions. She suggested, no, he said, they're not. No, who have you shown this to, he asked. Shown, she said, confused, I, it was just a doodle. I haven't shown it to anybody. Why would I not order, he asked. Of course not, she said. He stared at her for a long moment as if ass assassinating her and then nodded forward it to him me, and then erased it, he said. And then we need to have a serious talk.